This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Today, Iran may get involved in the Gaza conflict, Canada's Air Force is engaging in an international dispute with China, and the Indian Supreme Court rejects same-sex marriage. From TLDR News, this is your daily briefing for Tuesday the 17th of October 2023. It's been reported once again this morning that Israel is planning a ground invasion of Gaza in the near future. In response to this speculation, Iran has warned this morning of a possible preemptive attack against Israel in the coming hours. For their part, Iran backs the Lebanese group Hezbollah, who's been exchanging fire with Israel for the last few days. This has almost certainly increased tension between Iran and Israel and contributed to Iran's statement about a preemptive attack this morning. Specifically, the statement came from the Iranian foreign minister in a live broadcast to state TV, where he said, All possible options and scenarios are there for Hezbollah. Naturally, resistance leaders will not allow the Zionist regime to take any action in Gaza, and when it feels reassured about Gaza, move on to other resistance areas in the region. Therefore, any preemptive measures is imaginable in the coming hours. He went on to explain why he believes that it's important for his country to get involved in the Israel-Palestine conflict. If we don't defend Gaza today, tomorrow we'll have to defend against those phosphorus bombs in the children's hospital of our own country. In more Israel-Palestine news today, it's been reported that Israeli airstrikes have continued into Gaza earlier this morning, killing dozens. Israel has told civilians in the area to leave and seek shelter ahead of the highly speculated Israeli ground invasion of Gaza. It's also been reported this morning that the US President Joe Biden will be heading to Israel tomorrow, following an agreement he's come to with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on the provision of humanitarian relief and safe areas for the more than 2 million people residing in Gaza, who are currently under fire and are in need of basic provisions. The negotiation between the Israeli government and the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, reportedly lasted more than seven hours, and Biden's trip was only agreed to on the provision that humanitarian aid was given and these safe areas were provided. There's more on the way, but be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make the daily briefing part of your daily routine, or just search for us on your podcast app to listen along. Canada seems to, this morning, be engaging in an international dispute with China over the actions of their air force. Canada's defence minister has accused Chinese fighter jets of carrying out a dangerous and reckless interception of a Canadian military plane over international waters. In effect, the defence minister claims that a Canadian surveillance plane, taking part in a UN operation to enforce sanctions against North Korea, had a Chinese jet come within five metres of it. He claimed that this put the Canadian plane at serious risk, and added that, I am very concerned about the unprofessional way in which this was done. He went on to add that, those types of behaviours are not ever acceptable, and we will express that to the People's Republic of China in the most appropriate way. However, the Defence Minister did not explain what exactly they meant by this. The Chinese government, too, seems to be refusing to give details, with the Chinese embassy in Ottawa refusing to comment on the situation to global news. Many people here in the UK are growing increasingly concerned about the potential arrival of bedbugs from France, where authorities and businesses are struggling to contain infestations. BBC News has reported today some of the measures that some of these French businesses and the wider government are taking to try and prevent the spread of bedbugs. Some are using technology from a UK startup called Spotter to detect cases of bedbugs early. In essence, the Spotter device contains pheromones that attract bedbugs. The box sits between mattresses and bed frames, and if a bug does crawl inside, a picture is taken and then analysed, both by AI and by the human eye. If the insect turns out to be a bed bug, then the business is informed and they can take action. Other hotels have resorted to using sniffer dogs who are trained and are specialised in detecting bed bugs. This is something that Rent-A-Kill specialises in. Technicians go to hotels with a backpack vacuum, collect air samples, and then send these samples to a facility where Labrador retrievers, German shepherds, beagles, or Belgian shepherds smell the samples and alert the handlers if they've detected bedbugs. It's not clear yet how or whether more UK businesses will adopt either of these measures to try and prevent bedbugs from spreading. 
In a major ruling this morning, India's Supreme Court has declined to allow same-sex marriage, saying that such a decision would be beyond its scope and is instead an issue for the parliament to decide. In this ruling, they did emphasise, though, that same-sex relations should not be discriminated against by the state. Now, it should be noted that the Supreme Court actually wrote four separate judgments on the issue, and two of the judges actually supported same-sex marriage. The other three judges formed a majority verdict and overruled them, though. Society in India remains relatively conservative, something the Indian government has so far reflected when discussing the case. In a statement, the government argued that same-sex marriages were not comparable with the Indian family unit concept of a husband, a wife and children. In fact, it was only back in 2018 that the Indian Supreme Court scrapped a law that banned homosexuality in India. It seems then that there is still work to be done before homosexual couples are granted the same rights as heterosexual couples in relation to marriage in India. In the final uplifting story today, we discuss offshore wind power in Scotland. It's been reported today that Sea Green, which is located just off the Angus coast, is operating at full capacity and is able to provide electricity to two-thirds of Scotland's households. In total, Sea Green comprises 114 giant turbines, cost in total £3 billion and is more than a decade in the making. According to the company, the facility will displace more than 2 million tonnes of CO2 each year. The project has been so successful that the company is now actually looking at potentially adding a further 36 turbines. Whether they actually decide to do this is, as yet, unknown. So, while we normally end the daily briefing with an uplifting story, not all of the news we cover is actually that uplifting. Actually, quite a lot of it's quite scary. Fortunately, when it comes to your digital safety, NordVPN has your back. It's an unfortunate reality that online scams and phishing attacks are on the rise, with us constantly bombarded with emails from our banks, social media accounts, and annoying newsletters we forgot we even signed up to. It's easy to click the wrong thing. One weak link can compromise security and bring things crashing down. With the protection of NordVPN though, you can use their threat protection features to identify potential suspicious links. Even if you did reach a suspicious website, NordVPN's data encryption tools would protect against a number of other attacks like malicious man-in-the-middle breaches. Even if things do go wrong, NordVPN's dark web monitoring is always scanning for your details and passwords and can actively notify you before you even notice. Plus, if you sign up to a two-year plan using our link, you'll not only get a massive discount, but you'll also get four extra months totally free. We've been told that sometimes when people hear us talk about NordVPN, they open up a new tab and start searching, but they don't use our link. I'm certainly glad that they do use the service, but you only get the discount and you support the channel through that link. So if you're trying to improve our journalism by signing up for Nord, use our link when you do, and you'll get their great service at a discount.